Hi guys and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm a Los Angeles based makeup artist located here in crazy Hollywood. I don't know if you've ever been here, but it is crazy. Today's video has been highly, highly requested and that is an easy breezy, simple 10 minute makeup look. Now, the reason I have not attempted to make this video yet is because I am not a 10 minute makeup type of girl. <laughs> I am like an hour and a half makeup kind of gal. I just don't do makeup looks like this very much because I'm a zero to 100 type of person. I'm either not wearing any makeup um, or I'm wearing all the makeup that I can put on my face. I just don't do this in between thing very well. But I understand that so many people who follow me do not have the amount of time that I have to glam. So this one is for you. This is gonna be for the busy moms out there, for the busy career women out there, for the people who are juggling a lot of things but they wanna look pulled together, they wanna feel amazing, they wanna look polished, refreshed, awake, and vibrant. This one's for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the products that I utilize if I were to do a 10 minute makeup look. This video will take longer than 10 minutes because I'm explaining it. But as you practice it and as you start to incorporate this, this will take you 10 minutes to complete, start to finish. And then I'm also going to be showing you a very quick and easy hairstyle so that you can style your bed head, you can style your naturally air dried hair in a way that's gonna take you about 10 minutes as well. So this is all about quick, easy, looking fabulous, getting out the door, and just not spending the bulk of your time glamming because we have a lot going on. It may be a pandemic, but we've got Zooms to Zoom. We've got phone calls to make and we have grocery stores to visit. So this one is for you guys, a quick and easy makeup look using almost all Charlotte Tilbury products and a super easy, quick, sort of Victoria's Secret-esque hairstyle. So let's go ahead and jump into it. But first, if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make almost exclusively Charlotte Tilbury content. I'm a Charlotte Tilbury girl through and through, a pro artist for Charlotte Tilbury, and I live and breathe for that woman. So if you love Charlotte Tilbury too, be sure to subscribe. I'll give you all the tips and tricks that I have learned with my time with Charlotte Tilbury and pass them on to you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well and on TikTok because I post lots of content there. All right, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this quick and easy polished 10 minute hair and makeup look. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. My hair is still a little bit drying, so I think we're gonna leave the hair piece for last. We're gonna go ahead and jump in with my skin. So I have my Jumbo Magic Cream here. I'm using Magic Cream every single day of my life. If I'm doing a big glam, if I'm just doing like a 10 minute makeup, it's always Magic Cream. I just feel like no matter what, you're always gonna look more awake when you have this cream on just because of the hyaluronic acid, plumps everything up, it makes you look like you've just had a facial. Like truly, I don't know if you guys have ever had a hydrofacial, but this is what your skin looks like after, and that's amazing. I mean, it just took two seconds, looks so beautiful. Put that on the chest, everywhere that's gonna be exposed, and boom, your skin looks amazing. All right, so for my skin, we're gonna go with something light, easy. This is gonna just take you two seconds to apply. So we have Light Wonder, shade number four is my shade. I put it on with my fingertips because we are going for quick, we're going for easy and effective. So this is gonna go on just as great as with a brush. It takes no time at all. Your fingers are gonna press it into your skin and help it to look really, really natural. It's a really beautiful product. Like it just makes your skin look really great. Evens out your skin tone, still lets your skin breathe. It's just really looking like a beautiful tinted moisturizer. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit extra on my fingertips and I'm just gonna put that on my neck and my chest just because that is exposed today. So you always wanna continue that color everywhere that is showing. All right, and that's my foundation, so quick and easy. So keep in mind, you know, I always do this magic away process for all of my makeup looks and it is such a process. It takes a lot of time to blend in with your fingers, but we're going for quick and easy. And so today I'm gonna initially apply it with my fingers, just kind of, you know, spread it in the general area, but then we're gonna quickly blend it in with a brush. And this is something that I would do if I was just like really trying to get a look on quick without trying to perfect everything. Like this is a very utilitarian approach. It's quick. I think it's nice to initially put your concealer on with your finger just so you're you're really just marking out the correct area you want to just sort of perfect and then blending it with the brush is just a really quick and easy way to do it. Although I don't think it takes necessarily too much time to do it with your fingers either. Now the brush I'm using to blend this out is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush. It's great for foundation, it's great for contour, and with this little side, it's great for concealer too. But I'm using this, I'm using the foundation side. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I think my nose is a little red, so let's put a little bit on my nose and then maybe a little bit right through here. I'm also gonna take what's left on my fingertips after blending that magical way in and put it on my eyelids just cause that's a little bit discolored and it's just gonna brighten everything up. 
So when it comes to a 10 minute makeup situation, where I'm gonna spend the most time and energy is on my concealer. If you have a beautiful base, if your coverage is really there, everything else is easy, it just falls into place. So I am, you know, spending the bulk of my time just really making sure my under, under eyes look good. There's no spots peeking through. I'm kind of going in with an extra layer of coverage just because that's what I feel really comfortable with. And if you are looking for what you should be focusing on when you're doing just these quick type looks, if your base looks really good, you know, all you really have to do is add a bit of color after that and you're gonna look pretty done. Okay, so now that my concealer's finished, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder. So I'm gonna be putting on a powder bronzer over this, so that's why I'm okay to already mattify the skin. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish, shade number two, and I'm just gonna put that through the center of my face and mattify any shine. And we're also just making sure that that foundation's set and everything's gonna stay put. Okay, so the bronzer now is gonna sort of be the focal point of this look. When I'm doing a quick and easy look, I really focus on making my skin look super bronzy, and that's what makes me feel really pulled together and complete. So we're just gonna focus that airbrush bronzer on the cheekbones, sort of pressing in some color. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury blush brush. Now normally, obviously, I'd be using a cream bronzer underneath. I'd be using those contour ones, but I'm trying to make this very quick. So if I was just going in, just trying to get a little color of my skin, I would just choose one or the other. I don't know about you guys, but I just like, love bronzer. I feel like really healthy looking when I have my bronzer on. And so that's something that I never skip, even if I'm just putting on a little something, just going out for the market on Sundays or something like that. I always, always bronze up my skin. Then I'm taking a little bit of that bronzer down the side of my nose. I always just do this no matter what the day, what the occasion, we love for our little nose to look snatched. So as you'll notice, I really layer my bronzer on. So I've kind of just put a layer of it all over my forehead, my cheekbones, and now I'm kind of going in and just pressing even more color on so that you really, really see a pop on the cheeks. We're gonna use more of that airbrush bronzer on my eyes, but I'm gonna jump right into my brows just because I like to get that shape there before I do anything else. So always, if you're doing a quick makeup look, it's good to do something on your brows. Brows are the pillars of the face. So if you just wanna throw in a little color, add an arch, elongate the brows a little bit, and especially brush them up, it's really just gonna help you look a bit more put together. So what I'm focusing on, if I just have like two seconds to do my brows, is I'm adding an arch here, I'm pulling it outward here, filling it in a bit on the arch, down here and then I like to brush 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 and then maybe put a bit through the front and then make sure it's even there too. The pencil that I'm using for my brows today is from Senna. It's the light blonde color and if I were using a Charlotte Tilbury pencil which I'm out of I would be the lightest shade in that. All right, so my skin is looking good. My brows are finished, so let's go ahead and jump into the eyes. The first thing that I would do is just run a little bit of airbrush powder over my eyelids to make sure that they're set from that concealer. And then what I like to do is either honestly use a blush brush, because I'm just trying to do it quickly, or an eyeshadow brush if you want to take a little bit more time. And I'm going to really run that through the crease to get a bit of color there. So I'll show you what it looks like if I just were to use the blush brush. And I'm just really focusing that on the crease. And obviously, I'm going to get some on the lid too because this is a giant brush but we're doing it quick okay we are here to make it work get some pretty makeup on and get out the door so I think that that looks really nice and then I'm just gonna go back in and add a little bit more on my cheeks it's all about balance you know you just keep putting more putting more and putting more okay that's looking good and then what I want to do is put a little bit of that on the lower lash line too so I'm just gonna run that along the lower lashes and on these really quick and easy looks, I really like to focus a bit of eyeshadow or bronzer like I'm doing on the lower lash line because when I'm wearing either less liner or less detailed looks, this just gives my eyes more definition. Try that at home. Let me know how you like it. And I'm going to wing it out and I'm going to connect it right here to my bronzer on top. Then we're going to take a little foundation brush, kind of blend that in. You know, I'm all about putting on a lot and then softening it with a brush after. And another thing I'm looking for when I'm trying to do this quickly is um, to create a bit of height. So I, I'm pretty okay with it winging out here because I just want my eyes to look bigger. So wing that color up, bring it out high like I'm doing and wide. Great. I think that's the perfect amount of definition that I want. And it didn't take too long, right? So the amount of bronzer I have on my eyes right now is giving the perfect amount of definition. I could just add mascara and this look would be done. For my type of a 10 minute look, I am able to get this down so I have enough time to do a little liner too. And I find the Pillow Talk liner to be the fastest that I can do. This formula is great, it's easy to work with. So I know I can build a flick really quickly and this isn't gonna add too much time to my look. Wings look pretty even. So now I close my eyes and then draw the line along my lashes. I've been 
receiving a few comments on my eyeliner lately. You know who you are. A lot of people have something to say about how big my eyeliner is, and that's totally fine because eyeliner is very personal. Some people love to have a big Amy Winehouse liner. Some people like to have a little kitten liner that you can barely see. So in the spirit of trying new things, I'm gonna keep my liner thinner today and see how you all feel about it. Tell me what you think. My eyes are on the bigger, uh, less hooded side, so when I do an eyeliner, it does show up regardless, but it is kind of nice to see. I mean, maybe to some of you, this won't seem like a smaller wing, but to me, this is a lot smaller and thinner than I would normally do. And also, for the record, Charlotte Tilbury herself, when she does her own eyeliner, I've been with her in person and just stared at it and studied it. She really comes out pretty low down and pretty far out and very thick with her eyeliner. It's not a tiny little flick. I mean, it is a moment. She really just transforms the shape of her eyes with this very dramatic eyeliner. She's always seen the pillow talk liner. And so I really do emulate how she does it herself. And she doesn't do, you know, a really subtle eyeliner. She really goes in. All right, so that's the eyeliner, which is a little bit more low profile for me and good for every day. So now we're gonna jump into the Pillow Talk mascara. So this mascara is really great if you wanna get a big lash with lots of definition pretty quickly. So I'm not gonna have to use false lashes. I'm gonna really get a lot of drama from this and it's just going to be perfect for a quick and easy look. All right, so now my mascara is finished. I put so much on. I mean, I absolutely loaded my lashes so that they were as high profile as possible since I'm skipping false lashes. And I think that that really adds a lot of drama. It very much completes this look. And my eyes look good to go. Okay, so skin is almost done. Eyes are finished. Let's jump into the lip. I'm gonna be using the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. And I always go in with a bit of lip liner because when I'm not wearing lip liner, I just don't, I feel like something's off. Like my lips don't look as big as they could. So I always use lip liner and a lipstick. So as you can see, that lip liner like gives so much color and gives such a complete look that you almost can get away with just doing lip liner. If you put a nice amount of lip balm on first, it'll feel comfortable and it's gonna be really long wearing because those lip sheets are waterproof and long lasting. So you can get away with just the lip liner if you really wanna make it quick. But I'm gonna go in now with the Pillow Talk Matte Revolution lipstick and add a bit more color. All right, and that is Pillow Talk. I just think that's a really beautiful everyday color. I absolutely love it. It's just the right amount of color, and I think it looks really good with the bronzer too. All right, so last but not least, we're gonna go in with my favorite blush. This is Ecstasy. It's just gonna be the perfect amount of color. It's gonna tie all of those colors in together. Something that I also really like to do is take that blush. The sirens! It's not stop. All right, something else I like to do is take that blush on your blush brush. And now that I've just done my cheeks, I'm just gonna run a little bit on my forehead. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna put some on my eyelids. Um, then I'm gonna take a little on my chin and my nose. And that way that beautiful color is all over my skin. It's very monochromatic and everything sort of blends together and looks really beautiful. Um, then you're always welcome to take a brush just like you know my, my method is, which is slap the color on and blend it out softly with a clean brush that doesn't have anything on it. And that's really gonna give you just gorgeous blended skin. All right, so now that my makeup is all finished, I'm just gonna set everything with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray and that is gonna keep my makeup looking great all day as I'm running errands as I'm doing everything, even if I go to the gym, it's just going to keep my makeup looking perfect. All right, guys, so my makeup is all finished. That is my quick, easy, about a 10 minute makeup routine. I know that if you practice this look, you can speed it up and get it down to 10 minutes too. I mean, once you're used to these products, you can really, really breeze through it. So now I'm gonna show you how I do my hair when I just have a few minutes and I just wanna make it look put together. So I just showered about two hours ago, so my hair is just air dried. And this is gonna be even easier to do if you wash your hair the night before. So I'm just gonna take a brush and just part my hair down the center. So what we're gonna do is just take like a messy bedhead air dried hair look and we're gonna make it look a little bit more stylized. So the two things that you're gonna need are a curling iron, this is a one inch barrel and a straightener. I just have like a mini straightener from Bellamy. So the first thing you're gonna do is take the straightener and you're just going to straighten the tips of your hair. This is gonna give a little bit more of a stylized look. It's gonna make these waves look very intentional. I really like the way it looks. It kind of em emulates the look of when your hair has just dried after you've been in the ocean or at the pool and you kind of get those really great waves. 
Now this hair look is super quick, it's super easy, and when I'm in my flow and I'm used to doing this hair look, um, it's gonna take me maybe about five minutes. And as you're first attempting it, it might take closer to 10 to 15. And as you're just attempting it for the first time, it might take you closer to 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so now I'm gonna switch over to my curling iron and I'm gonna open the barrel and then I'm just going to wrap my hair around about twice, leaving the ends out. And my curling iron is set on the highest setting and I'm just gonna let it sit for like under 10 seconds. It's not sitting for very long at all. And then as you can see, it puts a nice bend in the hair. Um, so it's like a nice wave. It's not curly. It's it's just a cool um, little wave. So now we're just gonna do that, going the same direction on the pieces that are at the top of the head. I'm not, you know, curling the bottom. I'm really just curling the pieces that you're gonna see. Again, I'm leaving the end out. Even that one, I'm just gonna leave out. And I'm really just focusing on getting a little volume and lift sort of at the crown. So I'm just gonna add those waves in on my whole head and then we're gonna add volume. Okay, so here is half of my head waved and half not and you could just see it adds a little bit of shape it adds you know a, a cool look to it. it just looks a little bit more dead all right so now that my hair is curled all throughout the crown we're gonna go back in with a little product so this was taught to me by an amazing hairstylist and Cotron when he did my hair he used this this is the bumble and bumble sumo clay and it's matte and so you're just gonna put it on your fingertips and what it's gonna do is it's gonna create amazing volume at the crown of your hair so I'm gonna massage and actually I'm gonna come from underneath and I'm gonna massage through here and this is gonna create lift especially in the front and height a lot of times when your hair is styled you just don't have much lift at the crown because when you're using a heating product it kind of just flattens it but this is going to give you a beautiful lift you can also use that to sort of make the tips sort of stick together and look a little bit more PC. So next you're going to be using the Orbe dry texturizing spray or a hairspray, but a texturizing spray is really great. It doesn't have to be Orbe obviously, but have you smelled it? It's incredible. And what I'm gonna do is they call this butterflying the hair. You're going to let it fall and spray it. So you're kind of hitting the hair from all directions and it's giving it lift and volume. Volume is the name of the game. The bigger the hair, the closer to God. Okay, last step of our hair journey is going to be to turn your head upside down, give it a good fluff, and honey, you're in business. All right, wow, that is some volume. I mean, we're talking some Texas volume there. <gasps> Incredible! Now you can just play with it a little bit, mold it into kind of what you want. All right, guys, we did it! We are done with a 10-minute light fresh easy makeup look with hair so i love this look i think it definitely represents like how i like to wear my makeup but it's so easy it's just a few key steps to this look and i really think that if you guys practice this you can totally get it down in 10 minutes it just gives definition to the eyes definition to the lips the brows give structure to the face and then the bronziness in the skin just makes you look very healthy very radiant so i really like this 10 minute makeup look i really just don't ever go for a soft easy look Look because I'm always glamming for the gram, glamming for YouTube. And so it is nice to know that I can do something that's a lot softer and it doesn't take much time at all. And I really do feel that when you put yourself together in a look like this, that is quick, easy, but very just polished, you feel really good when you're going out, when you're interacting with the world. You just have a little extra pep in your step, you know, a little extra confidence. It's a little boost. I do have to say that I feel really good, even if I'm just going to Trader Joe's, just going to Target, I feel really good when I'm walking around my little mask but my eyes are like you know ready I love this hair look you know I just kind of stumbled upon this from a few different hairstylists that I've had and I think it's really great because you can just use your air dried hair your bed head and turn it into something fabulous really quickly you don't have to mess with doing a whole blowout or straightening your whole head you can utilize the volume that you already have in your hair and just stylize it a little bit more so I hope that you enjoyed that too so yes this was a quick and easy look you can pretty much do this entire thing in about 20 minutes and be out the door and I know so many of you have been requesting a video like this so I hope it's helpful for you please let me know if you have any questions you can obviously swap out my lip colors with something brighter with something more subtle you could just do a gloss instead pretty much you can swap out any of the Charlotte products to do the same type of a look if you want to go with a lighter blush if you want to do something that pops even more you can totally do that you can swap 
out that eyeliner to do a black or brown, or if you wanted to do a liquid liner, totally possible. Sorry about all of the sirens in Hollywood. Like literally, Hollywood is the city of the most noise possible. Um, and then also you can, you know, you can skip the eyeliner altogether, and that's really gonna look just fine because you have a lot of definition with that shadow and with that mascara. All right, guys, thank you again so much for watching and for requesting this video for so long. It made me want to put a lot of effort into this 10 minute glam so i hope that i made you proud i know that i have so many moms and so many people with amazing busy careers so this type of a look is really going to come in handy when you just have a little time to pull yourself together in the morning and you want to look and feel as best as you can and charlotte's products and her brand are really really built around that mentality since charlotte is a mom and a busy businesswoman as well don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it leave a comment down below tell me what else you'd like to see share your favorite 10 minute makeup products with me that you love and that you utilize regularly and don't forget to follow me over on instagram to see my makeup reels and on tiktok to see more beauty content that you're not going to find here on youtube as always i hope that everyone is healthy doing really well and staying safe out there they're just starting to distribute the vaccine here in the united states i know they're already starting to distribute in the uk too and a few other countries so we're getting there guys i know a few people are going to be getting it in the next few weeks so wow we're really maybe starting to turn a corner but it still is pretty intense here in LA so please stay safe everyone thank you again so much for taking the time to watch this video and I will catch you very soon on another one bye